This is what the pie slice box looks like pretty much when you take it out of the case that it was shipped in. And to set it up, the first thing we're going to do is pre-break the scores. We're going to train the little paper fibers in the paper board to conform to the finished structure of the box along the creases. So to begin, we're going to flip the box over so that the top of the window is facing down towards the table. We're just going to pre-break, fold this score, the longest score on the lid, all the way over. Fold it back out. Next, we'll do the flaps that are along the lid. Just fold those over 180 degrees, fold them back out. Next, we want to address these scores at the corners at the back of the triangle of the pie slice box. And to do that, we're going to gently but firmly just push on the end of the box so that the back looks straight. And it'll bounce out a little bit, but that's OK. Next comes the bottom. And we want to take the panel that's adjacent to the bottom panel that we want to fold in and make sure it's towards the table. It's just easier that way. And it's a little bit hard to see, kind of close quarters. Uh, but we'll pin it down, fold it in like that, and fold it out again, move on to the next one. Fold it in, fold it out, I'll do the last and third panel, fold it in it out. And you'll notice that these panels are numbered. Those numbers correspond to the order in which we want to fold them in to finish the bottom of the box. So number one is first, number two is second, number three we want to fold it, keep pushing it until this little tab locks in past the other tab. And when you hear that little pop, it means it's far enough. We'll flip it over. Closing the lid is pretty simple. There's two tabs at the corners, and those tabs go into corresponding slots. And you can just use one hand, fold these down, and with a thumb and a finger, slide them in. And that is your pie slice box.